Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, storytelling apps. Hi, my name is Guy Training and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to talk about some storytelling apps. Some of these apps are apps I reviewed before, some of them are new at least uh, to the show and I just wanted to have them all together because I think that summer and after summer is a great time to start working on storytelling, stories about us, stories about our families or fantasy stories about other people and there are lots of good ways to do that on the iPad. Let's start with a basic one or something that I think about as a basic one and that is Shutterfly. Shutterfly has uh, something called Photo Story it's actually meant to create albums and you can see that that's exactly what it does but again they were despite the fact that they're in the business of making albums and printing things out they actually added uh, audio features to this album so when you go into Shutterfly and um, I need to sign in so let me just sign in for a second You can see that I already have some projects on the page and you can see as you add projects all you have to do to add a new project is press the plus button and there you go and once you get it, right, I'm starting a new one, you can select a format and they have some pre-designed structures so if you want to do for example a family or color in the town and all of that it's a template that allows you to skip a few steps um, that are really really nice and there's some that are just patterns and textures so it allows you to do your own photos. So this is my book style and then I can select what size pictures I want to include and this the pricing here is not the pricing to use the apps this is a pricing if you want to print that out so you can actually pay them and print that out. Now as a teacher you would not choose to do this because these are fairly expensive to print out so if there's great creativity and it's something they want to share for example if you do a, a, a story about family heritage or a history of town or anything that they can create together you can choose to print it. We can choose a certain size and we continue and now it asks you how do, where do you want the photos from and you can see that you have lots of options you can get it from your computer so you can actually connect to something you've got on your computer you can use Shutterfly if you've got photos on Shutterfly but the most obvious place to do it is to get it from your photo library so I'm going to say let's use my photo library and let's use some of the photos I have in uh, my camera roll because I've got some interesting photos and it'll take a second to update so you can see oh, I don't want all the photos if you had a specific album that you wanted you would select something specific so I'm going to select uh, some photos here's one here's another one um, hmm. here's another one so these are things I'm choosing and I say done it's building my book right now so it's taking all the photos I created and putting it in but you can still change it after it populates the book so now you can see the pages here's the first page and we can scroll through and you can see that there are different formats and you can change the layouts you can see how many possible layouts there are it's really quite amazing how much attention they have paid to this so for example we can change this and you see that I need to add a photo here for the fourth one but they're somewhat overlapping and you can choose totally different layouts there um, and you choose them by the way by the number of photos you have on that page so there's a lot of flexibility and there are places where you can add text so you see these are text boxes where you can click on them and add text and create that story and that way you are really creating a rich book that can be used and can also be printed. The next app I want to talk about is called Story Creator from Alligator Apps and we've talked about Alligator Apps so at least I have and what you do and this is a, something that was developed by a, a student of mine 
in a class we're right now teaching about iPads and what you can see is that this is a story shared with me so even though it's shared with me I have full access to it and there's audio on top of the picture and uh, the text the sound whirls through the air, it slits the rough silence. And to create a new one, all I have to do, as usual, is a plus, add story. And this is a new story, and you can see, you can even choose a cover, you, you give it a name. Right? And now, I've got a new story, and I can open it. And now you can see all the options. I can add a page, I can add a picture, I can add text and I can read to it. I also have some art tools so I can draw on it. There's colors. I can have different colors to play with. I can use the eraser to erase it if I don't like it. In Story Creator, other people can see it only in the same app. So you can send it to somebody else but they would have to have the app to actually enjoy it. But this is Story Creator, it's a great way to create stories and to incorporate photos and incorporate uh, other aspects. Let's just raise this for a second and I'll show you how you get photos. So again, photos you can get, existing photos from your device or take pictures, live pictures and the same thing with video. So this one again is Story Creator, very flexible, great way to get kids to create very rich stories in 21st century learning about making decisions about what fits and what doesn't and how long it needs to be and all of that. So uh, Story Create is number two. So we thought, number three, thought, uh, thought, Adobe Voice. This is an app really that was new to me. I heard about it so from Will Van uh, just last Some week. Some of them don't hate cats. No, not like this guy. He looks like he hates cats. Anyway, this is where you can help. If you don't hate cats, and you want to have a little kitty friend for a few weeks and you promise to give this can be created by kids fairly easily but you can see that at least from this example that it's not just kids that enjoy this uh, specific app and you see there are stories shared here happy mother's day right let's see this one briefly hi mom how is it going mom happy mother's day Woo! Thank you for taking care of us and loving us to bits. So this is a fantastic way to actually communicate, in this case, Happy Mother's Day. Uh, but you can create your own, so you just hit the, the create and what's your story about. So let's give it a title. Um, I'm, I'm into fun today, so let's call it fun. And you can see that, again, they have templates that you can talk through. So you can have something completely open-ended, like make up my own, but you can actually have specific structure. This provides that structure and teaches them something about story structure and different genres of writing. I love that aspect here. So if we go, for example, follow a hero's journey, right? Look at the bottom, it tells you exactly what happens at each phase. It starts with a setup, a call to adventure, the challenge, the climax, and the resolution. And in each page, you choose what you put on. So I go plus and you see I can add text, photo, or icon. I love their icons. So you can search for an icon. And let's say uh, that I'm searching for something like a cape. Do they have an icon with a cape? Look at that. The icons came and I can choose whichever one I want. I think uh, this one is exceptional. And now I just hold to record and I say, I am the hero of the story. And now you can listen just to it. Hold to record and I say, I am the hero of this. And I left it just a second too slow. And then I can add music. And there are different kinds of music that you can use. So you can use happy, playful, relaxed, rousing, thematic. I think we need uplifting. So you can see, you can actually have your own theme music. And then when you're done, 
you simply share it and you can share it by email. You can just send a link, which is a great choice, especially working with kids. If you're working with older kids, you can share it on Twitter and Facebook if they have them. So this one is called uh, Adobe Voice and it is exceptional. I can see lots of opportunities to use it wisely so, uh, and create lots of stories where students are supported and they can uh, really uh, have fun and create products that are truly 21st century products that integrate different media together. So today we talked about a few options to create stories on the iPads and then share them with others. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.